Ed Connard, a former partner at Bain Capital and the author of Unintended Consequences. Good morning, panel. Good morning. Nice to have you all here today. Ed, let me start with you. You worked with Mitt Romney at Bain for many, many years. Was that ad? <laughs> I'll say. Um, I think Bain's uh, record will stand up to scrutiny. I, I, I must say that I don't speak for Bain. I'm a former partner of Bain Capital. But if you look at that steel investment, for example, uh, that plant was slated for closure. Bain bought it. They put $100 million in six years of time into it. 50% of the industry's capacity was wiped out by imports, and that uh, we worked incredibly hard to make that successful. At the same time, we made a, an investment in another steel company where we built a mill from scratch, from the ground up, specifically to design to compete under the changing conditions. And that company today is the fifth largest steel company. It employs 6,000 people. So how does the president get away with having it both ways? He had this huge fundraiser with a huge private equity guy here in New York City from Blackstone. And at the same time, he's vilifying Mitt Romney for doing the exact same thing. Yeah, well, we'll see if he gets away with it. Of course, he can raise money from some people. Uh, the question is whether or not he can win the election. Daniel? Well, I think this is actually par for the course. When you look back to the primaries and even back in 2008, remember Mike Huckabee's line about Romney looks like the guy who fired you? The people in the primary, they weren't attacking Romney over foreign policy. They were running negative ads like Gingrich about his record as a venture capitalist. So I just think, you know, this is what he did in his professional life. Uh, this is what he's known for. And when you get into the political sphere, you are going to be attacked from it, for it. So it's, I don't think it has anything to do with a, a double standard. It's simply... Since Romney has been, since, since Romney's though, been in public life, is this double, is what people go it, after it him for standard. because, because they're unpopular. On, it's an attack on capitalism. Private equity is... Well, is, was Mike Huckabee attacking capitalism when he was going after well, Romney? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask Mike Huckabee. But on its face, it seems a little <laughs> disingenuous to attack what Mitt Romney did and then go out and raise money from exactly those exact kind of people. Right, Alec? Well, no, I don't think it's a double standard at all. I think what's happening is that, you know, surprise, surprise, there are actually some patriotic millionaires and private equity guys on Wall Street who care about larger issues around the economy, not just what the president thinks about about private equity or what happened at Bain Capital. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that, that Mitt Romney and, and Ed here did great by their shareholders and by Bain Capital, but the question is when you translate that experience into running a, a global economy, what will that look like? And, you know, it's kind of like asking Mitt Romney to go from being, you know, a strip miner to an environmentalist, and we're not sure whether or not he could do that. <laughs> I think people are kidding themselves if they think all uh, companies do is work for investors. The companies to be successful are working for customers. They have to meet the demands of customers. And you have to make businesses uh, stronger and grow them faster if you want to make money for your shareholders. The idea that you, all you have to do is cut costs and strip out a little assets. Uh, it's a cartoon version of business. I'm sure some people in America believe it, yep. but I don't think many people believe it. All right, we could talk about it for hours, but I got